This strange looking building is called Villa Flora. It's an energy positive building, where in 2012, the Floriade exhibition was held. We're going to meet the creator of Villa Flora, my teacher, master, Professor Jon Christensen, who is an architect and an inventor of many sustainable techniques. Hello, Jon. Hey, Andy. Welcome to Villa Flora. Thank you for receiving me here. Oh, very really nice to have you as a guest here. Thanks. Many consider this your masterpiece. Um, it's a sustainable building, but it has a lot of principles that you designed earlier in the 1970s, right? Yeah, it's uh, more than 35 years ago. We designed the town hall of Lelystad, and uh, there we used a lot of uh, or sustainable principles. And I understood yeah. that the Lelystad building would have been the first energy neutral building in the world, right? I think so. Uh, it must have been the first one. Wow. But it was never constructed, right? No, it was a building in glass 35 years <laughs> later here. So here the Villa Flora is in fact <laughs> yeah, with yeah. all the ideas. Of yeah, most, the uh, a lot of them. Okay. Shall we have a look upstairs? Yes, very nice. Yeah, but let's okay. go upstairs. Yeah. So we're on the office floor here. Um, what immediately strikes me is the oddly shaped roof. What is it? This is a roof shell, say a parabolic form. There's a mirror on the inside, and that means that you can concentrate radiation from the, from the sky, sun, sun for, for uh, photovoltaic and for hot water. And you can also gain cold, and that is very important. During the clear sky, you have a radiation into the sky. So that was the idea, but eventually, you basically came up with another secret yeah. of the energy neutrality. But that is because that the, the, um, we can use the, 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 the radiation in a glass house. Uh -huh. you, can, you can get a, also gain it with a good heat exchange. So Jan, we're sitting in front of the big hall here. That's where the exhibition was held in 2012. Um, can you tell me, what is this special unit looking like in air conditioning? It is, a, it is a fine wire heat exchanger, very effective, and it absorbs the heat with hot air coming between the glass and the sun shield, and it cools it and, and, and brings the hot water into the seasonal heat storage in the ground. And also for cooling during night, you have, it's extremely cold here, uh -huh. so you can also use it to store the cold uh -huh. also in the same heat storage underneath. So the hot air is used for heating in winter and the cold air Cooling is... Cooling as well. Okay, wow. But I'd like to ask the, the engineer who really made it okay. to, 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 to show you. Yeah, let's do that. Hello Jan, nice to meet you. Hey, good afternoon. Yeah, very nice to uh, welcome you here in Villa Flora. Thank you. Um, so you are the CEO of the company that engineered this building, right? Yes, indeed. We did so. And we did it together with uh, John Christensen as architect the godfather of this building. Yeah. And also, also uh, a lot of other par parties, of course. Yeah. Yeah. So it's energy positive, but I also understood that there's a lot of other sustainability measures that were taken here in the building, right? Yes, of course, yeah. For example, we used uh, a lot of uh, uh, circular materials, uh, cradle to cradle, and we have a very innovative uh, uh, floor system. Okay. Can we have a look at that? Yeah, of course. You can uh, walk to it. Yeah. Okay. Go this side and to open the floor where we have the, all the technical things in it. Oops, yes. Wow. Wow, here it is. So this is all the equipment. Yes, it's all the equipment, all the piping and all the electrical, all uh, IT uh, devices and with the fresh air, of course. Mm -hmm. And when we change the layout of the building, we can make everything on the right place. So it's very flexible. It's very flexible. So and uh, yeah, the concrete slab is used for the the heating, and the ceiling is used for cooling. Okay. Wow. In summer times, so with the water from the the aquifer. Very efficient. Yeah. Now I've also understood that the building has a biofermentation plant. Yes, we have. Yeah. Yeah. Can we have a look at that as yes, well? Yes, of course. So this is the biofermentation plant. Yes, it's the place where we collect all the bio waste from uh, this building, eh, from the toilets and from the beverage. 
and we, uh, we produce uh, biogas. Okay, and what do you use the biogas for? We uh, fill a, a heating boiler uh -huh. and we use it uh, for peak shaving okay. in winter times and also for hot water for the beverage. Okay, nice. Yeah. Very efficient. Well, Jan, I know you need to go now. Yes. You have another meeting. Sorry, uh, but thank but you so much for yeah. showing us around. And I'll try to find Jan Christus on the Okay, game. bye. Bye, bye Jan. Bye. Well, Jan, that was really interesting. Very efficient system. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Now, I know you designed this building by the philosophy of integrated design. What does it mean? Integrated design, it starts designing it starts from the sun to the magma of the earth. Mm -hmm. All, all things in between, the, 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 the clouds, the rain, the wind, the, the, the green, the trees, the... the even uh, outer space? Even outer space, yes, for, for, uh, for cooling, building. Uh -huh. and, uh, and in fact, uh, what, you, what you should know is, architects, they need building physics. Okay. That is that is a part that is. If you make a smart building, you have to do, do, do it, and then you don't need much installation. Okay. Yeah. It, 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 so architects need to know more of building physics rather than aesthetics, if you want to. No uh, combination. Combination. But, but the building physics is one of the most important thing to design a, 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 a sustainable building. Jon, thank you so much for your inspiration. And if buildings like these come from that, I really hope that many people across the world will use those principles also. I would be happy if that can happen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Let's go. Thank you.